Islamists have shown the face they wanted you to see of Muslim women. Now see the other face. See the ones suffering for real and not the paid ones. This woman's 12 year old daughter is being forced to marry, and this mom is making a commotion. She's a hero. Listen to what she says to this sheikh right to his face. <laughs> بنتي حاليا جسمها غير مؤهل انه تكون ام في حال صار اكو حمل وتوفت الطفله الدين راح يرجع حق بنتي القانون ماكو جهه ما ناشدتها اصلا اني بعد ما عندي اي ثقه لا بقانون ولا بدين ولا حتى بالاسلام كافه ضيعت الطفوله اني اليوم مطلقه بنفس الموضوع باسم الدين يا دين يا دين اللي انتوا تجوني اليوم تقولون دين النبي محمد اللي ما حد يوصل لهذه صار لي 15 يوم انا اشد اقول الطفله ما عايزه وجوع طلعت الطفله مختصبه ومزوجيها عقد عرفي خارج المحكمه وانا الدين شلون انت مسوي قدرت تعقد ما ذكرت انه بنتك بحبيبتك ما قلت هاي امها وين يجيني ابو الشرطه المجتمعيه احنا عبرنا طالق طفله للدار واتصلوا بيها هاتفيا الطفله موقعه تسال طفله عمرها 12 سنه المفروض تسالها شنو تاكلين؟ وين تحبين تلعبين؟ متى تشتري العاب؟ العاب اكو تقاريط الالعاب لعبها هاي شنو الاسره اللي راح تقدمها؟ يا دين اللي انتم تحكون يا قانون 15 يوم تدز عليه استخدام ويطلع نفس اليوم مكفل وهو داخل بجريمه قتل مهدده من قبله وفعل في الزي العسكري اها <تصفيق> شيخ ردك استاذ جعفر اولا نحن جاي اقول حاله اذا حاله انسان مو الات الحالات طيب خلي الات الحالات خلينا طيب هل هذه حاله انا ما اريد جاي احكي اقول ان الحالات الاعم من هي الاب اللي يحتاج يحب بنته ويريد يخاف على مصلحته من ساعه الاب اذا هذا من ساعه الاب صحيح. رجل الدين هذا هذا انت بنظرك 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 هذا ان
Without the wife's consent, a man divorces her by simply saying, You are divorced. The mother isn't allowed custody of her children, even if the father gets remarried, even if he isn't rich enough to support them, he still automatically gets the right of custody of the kids. In Islam, the wife isn't allowed to disagree with the husband. If she disagrees with him, she's considered disobedient. And the husband can either beat her up or divorce her. And if he divorces her, she has nowhere to go. If her parents are still alive, she goes back to live with them. Then she loses her kids. The stepmom brings up her kids. Just the other day, we heard about the kid Muse's sad story where his stepmom tortured him to death. Muse's mom was still alive but didn't get the custody of her boys and his assailant. Athra al Janabi got only 15 years prison time. In the Islamic countries like Iraq, Iran, Egypt, Syria, United Arab Emirates, etc., if a woman or a child gets raped, the punishment is in jail time to the rapist. Instead, the rapist is forced to marry his victim to contain the R shame he inflicted on her and on the men of her family. Because the integrity, honor of the men of the family in the Middle East is associated with the virginity of the daughters of the family. So, if a girl dates or makes boyfriends or goes out with a boy or has intimate relationship with a man out of wedlock, this is considered prostitution and the reputation or name of the men of the family is tarred. This is when honor killing gets applied. Got divorced because she refused the marriage of her minor daughter. Because she disobeyed her husband. He kids got snatched from her and her daughter got raped. And the law is on his side. By saying that she no longer recognizes neither religion nor sharia nor islam. She can get into big trouble. Have you noticed how the sheik concentrated on these certain words? That is why Jafar, the Shiite name by the way, the host, jumped in and tried to defend her, because the sheikh was gonna get her into trouble. A Muslim is not allowed to denounce Islam or the Sharia. If he or she does so, they are considered kafir, blasphemous, in which case, the punishment is death. Directing the speech to Jaffer was meant a way of degradation to her. That is why, if you had noticed, Jaffer told him to direct the speech to her and not him. This mother is a Shiite. Judging from the way her clergy wears. Shiite clergy. Sunni clergy. You might find a lot of Shiites that don't want to stay in Islam. On the other hand, fewer Sunnites want to leave. However, both aren't allowed to leave. A Muslim should and must respect the Quran. Muhammad and Allah otherwise is considered blasphemous or murtad, apostate. So basically, when Muslims require you to respect their religious observations, or when they expect you to respect the Quran or Muhammad or Allah, they are applying the Islamic Sharia on you, which means you have become Muslims. When a Muslim woman refuses to shake hands with you, this means you are considered unclean because Muslims, mainly Sunnites, consider non-Muslims unclean. Just as a pig is considered unclean to them, there is something called taqiyya in Islam. What this basically means is deception. They are allowed to hide, lie, and deceive their enemies when they are weak or have low numbers. But once as they get strong, they expose their true identity. So do not humble yourselves and call for peace while you are at you highest points. And God is with you and he will not leave you for your deeds. Quran, Surah Muhammad, verse 35. So when they're telling now that Islam is the religion of peace, do realize that this is taqiyya because they are now weak. It won't take long for them to show you their true colors. The most fanatics of Muslims are Sunnites. Sunnites are prepared to take control of Sweden. 